In this lecture, we're going to explore what is EFT tapping and how can it improve my psychic and healing abilities. So EFT tapping is a healing modality that combines cognitive therapy with acupressure to shift huge emotional blockages. So cognitive therapy is a form of thought therapy, so it's very closely related to psychology. And acupressure is applying physical pressure to meridian points to stimulate them. And this combined helps to shift huge emotional blockages. So EFT tapping was originally derived from the teachings of Dr. Roger Callahan's thought field therapy in the 80s and he discovered that by tapping on meridian points he was able to release with his patients fears and traumas and particular phobias that they'd had and his very first case was a woman who had a desperate phobia of water and he managed to work through this incredible therapy where when she was tapping on the meridian points it released this phobia for her. Most of contemporary tapping teachings are based on Gary Craig's work from the mid-90s and today this work is being embraced by hugely metaphysical teachers such as Louise Hay and Dr Wayne Dyer and so many more and I've just been seeing so many entrepreneurs out there who are now embracing tapping and who are talking about how powerful it is for shifting huge blockages in their lives. So EFT can help with so many different ailments, including PTSS, phobias, addictions, stress and anxiety, physical pain and disease. It's also being used to clear issues around abundance and success and relationships and helping release past trauma and so much more. And this course focuses hugely on releasing past trauma because that's a big blockage for psychic and healers and that's going to be something we're going to concentrate on quite a bit later in the course. So Gary Craig explored the concept that the cause of all negative emotions is a disruption of the body's energy system. And this is derived hugely from Chinese medicine as well. They discovered this thousands of years ago, that the body's energy system is hugely disrupted by negative emotions. So as you can see from this diagram, the body is filled with different meridian points. And meridian points are channels that transfer our life energy or as known in Chinese medicine our chi through our bodies and when these points become blocked then we experience dysfunction in our physical well-being and in our emotional well-being. So for those of you unfamiliar with acupuncture, acupuncture is a healing modality that comes from Chinese medicine that uses needles on these meridian points. Whereas acupressure uses physical pressure on the meridian points. And so in the case of EFT tapping, we're going to be using our three fingers to tap on these points to stimulate these meridian points. And in that process, release those blockages. Please know you don't need to study Chinese medicine to understand this. So if it sounds all a bit complicated right now, you don't need to go too deep into this theory side of it. All you need to know as the basics is that tapping on these meridian points releases that negative energy. It clears it. And this then allows new positive beliefs to be tapped in. So it's like it creates a fresh canvas for you where you've released all that old negativity and you've opened space for new positive beliefs to be tapped in that can improve your life and help you feel more positive but also shift any phobias or addictions or physical blockages that are occurring in the body. Now, something I really love about EFT tapping is the process of creating the setup statement. And this is part of step two of your EFT routine. And what the setup statement does is it teaches us the power of loving and accepting ourselves no matter how we feel. And that's really important to notice, like how we feel about a situation. So say, for example, we're not attracting a lot of clients to our business and we're feeling really judgmental of ourselves and we're feeling 
feeling really down and in despair and angry and frustrated. What EFT teaches us and what the setup statement teaches us is no matter how we feel about this external situation that's going on for us, that we still love and accept ourselves. And this is profoundly healing because instead of berating ourselves for something that's going wrong in our lives or judging ourselves or feeling worthless or all those horrible things that can come when your life is not really going the way you wish it was going, we're actually saying, I just love myself anyway. And that's hugely powerful and very transformative in the healing process. So how can EFT tapping clear psychic blocks? So what we're going to be doing in this course is we're going to be using EFT tapping to tap into your deepest fears and traumas around stepping into your intuitive and healing gifts. And by doing this, this clears them so you no longer feel that emotional attachment to those issues. So as I mentioned before, it's almost like the process of loving yourself, even though you've got this big issue. By releasing that, you're actually no longer so caught up in that really crazy, chaotic, wired despair that can happen when there's something not working in your life. And this opens a really beautiful space for more opportunities to come in, for your intuition to be boosted because you'll start getting more solutions. But also that general feeling of what's bothering you will no longer be blinding you so much. And that's really huge. So going back to our example before, before. like if you're no longer so stressed and worried and emotionally attached to what's going on when you have no clients then you're really able to leap forward and create a new energy for yourself and put out a different vibration that will attract new clients because as most of you probably know that you know by worrying about it it's certainly not going to improve it so this is a really powerful benefit of EFT tapping And by using EFT tapping, you are releasing those blocks, which allows you to feel more confident, healed and positive around being a psychic and a healer. And there is so many multitudes of levels of things that can block you and challenge you as a psychic and a healer. Like in this course, completely addresses those unique issues. So I've gone really deep into so many different types of challenges that you can experience that I've derived from my years of teaching clairvoyant healing and my years of working with my students and clients about what's come up for them and what's come up for myself as a psychic and a healer. So why EFT is so amazing is because it's really quick and it's easy to learn and implement. You can often get instant results, which is really powerful. There's very few healing modalities where you'll feel an instant reaction and an instant difference. It's a very inexpensive solution. Like you don't need to run off and get qualified or continuously invest in equipment to be able to do it. It's basically free and you can do it on yourself constantly to heal yourself instead of going to see a healer. And it's transportable, which means that, you know, no matter where you are, you can do a really quick five minute EFT session if you're feeling uncomfortable or challenged by a situation. Please note, As a disclaimer, EFT tapping is not meant to be used as an alternative for professional medical advice. So if you are experiencing really deep psychiatric issues, mental illnesses, or if you're experiencing physical disease and pain, EFT is not a substitute for professional medical advice. And you need to make sure you are seeking professional medical advice for those situations. So enjoy your EFT tapping course to release your psychic blocks. I really look forward to hearing about the emotional freedom you can experience by tapping on your blockages and releasing them. I'll see you in the next lecture.